I've got good news, so I figured I'd put this at the start. This kit is absolutely perfect. For those of you playing along at home, you know that I was going to hold this kit in comparison to the Tacom M46 pattern, and that's because I found that to be one of the most crisp builds that I've ever done, and I'm happy to say that this one holds up in that regard, but much better. In terms of Tigers, I hold Ryfield as my favourite, but they aren't without issue. And these Tacom Tigers may be the step up from those, especially when it comes to the ease of build, and given that I was looking to replace my Dragon Tigers, I think this is it. There are of course fiddly sections which some won't like, but it seems that Tacom have tried to make them as simple as possible, and a good example is the tracks themselves and the tracks that attach to the turret, with them all having single guides. Tacom offers a jig that allows you to mass attach the guide horns easier than Ryefield I feel, and it even goes as far as having the holding latches for the turret tracks on pre-organised spaces so you can comfortably and easily put them on, making it a lot easier to manage. Looking at the steps throughout the build, I didn't notice anything personally that caused issues or concerns, and when looking at the tracks specifically, they came out looking absolutely beautiful, with the exact amount stated on the steps matching perfectly to the end result and looking fabulous. Fitting the main sections of the Zimmerit, rear plate and such, they all fit beyond expectation and the Zimmerit itself lines up nicely to help hide the joins, which I really appreciate. And this continued onto the turret, where the roof and mantlet areas all fit precisely with no extra effort required. I have to note that the extras given are perfect for those who like to change up the final look and customise the tank to maybe look like it wasn't in combat with the help of the jerry cans, helmets, ladder and the like, and as you'll see I've put quite a few of them on mine. I'm extremely happy with this model and I'm definitely okay with the idea of building more of it, exactly this kit, for different variants of Tigers, so I do wholeheartedly recommend it. Now not to be negative, but those of declining eyesight may have a few issues with areas such as the travel lock, the track guides and some of the smaller locks for the tow cables and general tools around the tank, so just note that there is that fiddly stuff present which I personally had to wear glasses for. Quickly on the flash and mold lines, the flash is barely evident anywhere and the mold lines are quite small and easy to remove when you find them, a very welcome change. Overall this is definitely my new favourite Tiger kit, just because of the entire package being exactly what I want for a model kit, and all I can say is that I feel like it knocks out everything else in the park for an out of the box build with no extras from third parties. But while we're on the topic of third parties, I feel that you don't need to add anything, but it may benefit from having metal tracks. That's just my input. For the keen eyed of you that have noticed this tank is 100% complete before paint, something I don't usually do with my tanks, it's because this build is going to be done in grayscale. Basically, I'm going to paint it to look like a black and white wartime photo. And that's just an idea that I've had floating around for a while. And I figured this one would be perfect for that, so let's see how it turns out down the line. Anyhow, that's basically everything I had to note about it. There's probably more that I've missed, but I'm very wrapped up in the hype, as you might have been able to tell here. Uh, I hope you enjoy yours when it arrives, or if you decide to tackle it and bite the bullet and purchase it and give it a go. Until next time, take it easy.